Hello everyone, welcome to Diluvian, and I hope I pronounced this right. This is not a bot gaming, I am so happy to have you here. I have been extremely excited about this game ever since I found out about it. I don't know a whole lot about this, so we're just going to try this together. I haven't done anything, this is like, I've changed some settings, so hopefully the sound is okay, but as usual I don't have all the fancy equipment I want, so I have to eat my microphone. All right, uh, new game. Here we go. Swashbuckler. Uh, yeah, maybe. Let's call it Swashbobbler. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, there we go. Swashbobbler. Begin! Haha. <laughs> Whew. It's absolutely frigid today in Alberta. But I'm going to be quiet and let this play. Well, actually, I think I'll have to read it. Hello, my child. Come and sit with me. I'd like to tell you a story, one that I used to read to your mother, oh, so long ago, when she was about your age. This is so cool. <laughs> Once long ago, before the waters of the world closed up around humanity, the earth was covered in dry land, as vast as the ocean is deep. No child went without food, the people were happy, and their world contained wonders and technology that we see only glimpses of in the relics left to us today. <gasps> Sorry about that. However, there was a darkness within the hearts of man. Ooh, scary. There was a group who began... Being not content with the miracles they possessed, sought to dominate others, and soon war broke out across the world. Firing crosshairs at us. As punishment for their sins, the gods sent down the calamity, which wiped out the land-dwelling animals and sunk the earth deep beneath the waves. But all was not lost. The last god who believed that mankind should be given a second chance had a gift in the deepest, darkest part of the ocean. Hid a gift, sorry. And she said to mankind, whoever reaches the end of this endless corridor and brings back my gift, if he or she be deserving, will blah 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 blah. And that is why adventurers seek out the endless corridor through they, through they do not know what it holds or whether it treasure or knowledge or the power down there. Sorry, I have to speed up. They're speeding this up. The life we know will be irrevocably changed when it is discovered. There we go. Okay. Hey. There we go. We get to select a ship. Okay, so the Glacium Mark VI Diamond. Known for being one of the fastest subs in the sea, the Glacium VI is a high-tech drill-propelled sub built by the Icer Engineering Guilds. These subs get to their destination quickly and maneuver gracefully along the way. While not built for combat, they have enough armaments to keep would-be attackers at bay. Iron Minnow, 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 a dweller-built sub composed of an Alma Gam, oh my god, <laughs> amalgam of parts welded together to create a sturdy beast. These subs specialize in salvage, having a larger inventory than other classes of subs in the ocean. They have a nice balance of defense, speed, and offense. And the Mirana. Mariana, there, yeah, Mary, Mariana, there we go. The latest in a line of combat specialized subs out of the Ho House Spirios Engineering Works. 
The Mariana is a hardy, combat-ready ship, and unlike the Glacium or the Iron Minnow, actually includes a torpedo tube. The Mariana is, has a rear turret configuration tuned for defense rather than offense, but can hold its own in battle because it is because of its heavier armaments, it's slower than the other classes of slubs. Subs, not slubs. Good lord. Oh my goodness. Okay, um, I don't know what to do. We're gonna go with possibly the Iron Minnow. I bought the um the fleet pack which is supposed to like give me an additional sub and then i got like this early pack which is supposed to give me an additional sub i don't know maybe they're unlocked later but i'm just really excited to test this all with you and see what's happening and i'm guessing this is their loading screen maybe come on there we go got stuck at 50 percent this thing's so cool. Oh my goodness, look at this game. Okay, how do I use W and S to change throttle? Slow, full, half, overdrive. Oh, wicked. Hold W to maintain course. I don't have to hold it, it's a sub. You just put it on, and away you go. While moving, your ship will navigate towards the rectile. Use A and D to quick turn. Chweep, chweep. Hi. It's so cute. There we go. That is a really quick turn. Okay, so that's neat. If you really need to get going like around an obstacle, you can go like this. Good to know. Okay, there we go. Oh, I think I'm going to have so much fun with this game. I could be 100% wrong, though, but I don't know. Wee! <laughs> now, is there a way to go up? That would be down, and that would be up. Well, there we go. Okay, so Q goes down, E goes up. Oh, God. Whoa! Yeah, I figured out how to do the depth on my own there, guys. Thanks, though. Okay, is what's attack? Okay, I don't have an attack yet. Maybe I don't think so. This is so weird. Like you gotta kind of like aim your rectile, but you kind of don't have to. It's so trippy. Oh, okay. Press B to go inside your cell. Uh, whoa! What should we do, Jay? I don't know. We've been out here looking for salvage all day and haven't had any luck. Let's stop at that bar and regroup over some hard grog. Sounds like a plan. I'll have coffee, though. The dive bar. Head to the nearby bar and rest for grog. Whoa, fishies! Sorry. <laughs> I got a little excited there. This looks cool. Look at this little sub here. Oh, I'm so excited. Now, apparently... Whoa, good lord. Whew, there we go. Now, apparently, as I was uh, freaking out and panicking... You can upgrade to better subs later in the game. I don't know how to do this and whatnot, but yeah. Well, the golden fish are said to flock to a stri to those striving for a goal. Use them to navigate to your destination. Oh, so that's how I get to my way. Ah, oh, that's wicked. That is such a neat way to show your destination. Ah, this game is just amazing. Oh, look. If you look at the bottom of the screen, you can see that um, Manta, that screw-based one. Oh, crud. Press R. Whew. That was close. <laughs> yeah. Doctor with the dive bar. Now, what am I doing? Hi, dude. What do you say? Oh, oh hi. Uh -huh. Well, hello to you, too. Hey, bearded man. Do you say anything? Mm -hmm. No, you just grunt at me. <laughs> okay, oh, you can scroll upward. Oh, you move the mouse. Okay, let's see what this oh. dude has to say. Hey, got a sec? Yeah, I suppose. Sorry, no autographs today. Why would I want your autograph? Okay. Uh -huh. 
Why do you come here? The owner here brews his own grog. We don't ask what goes in it. That's probably a smart idea. What's this guy? Thirsty patron. What's going on? The grog here is so bad, I may as well be drinking me own piss. Yeah. That's kind of disgusting. Come to think of it, I did drink my own piss once. One engine in the deal. Yuck. What's the plan? I've been thinking it's time to expand the crew. Don't get me wrong. What do I have to do to get a decent, decent drink in this dump? Pay your tab, you scrounger. Yeah, yeah, you know I'm good for it. Your scrap can's falling apart, boy. There's wrecks on the sea floor that's more reliable than your ship. Do you not look out your portholes, man? I got me a brand new sub, courtesy of Hastley. Ah, uh, about Hastley. All right. Uh -huh. Who's Hastley? He's a loon with too much time on his hands. I don't see any difference on that sub sides the name. Man, what would you know? You can't even read. Hastley's a genius. No, a legendary mechanic. And that sub that he's made is going to get me all the way down to a thousand meters. No sweat. I'll get you to a thousand meters, all right, but not alive. Okay. We've seaweed gin and it. That last of the grog, which will it be? I have nothing. Don't want anything. Exit. Uh -huh. Can you tell me more about Hastley? John Hastley's part of the Vehicle Engineering Guild. You can get him to help you. He'll get you down to a thousand meters. Give or take a catfish's whisker. Before I forget, you can find Hastley near Tonesburg. Just remember, you owe me one. Oh, and the name's Daniel... Heriton, nice to meet you. A thousand meters. You're looking to get a new sub anyway. Being able to dive that far would be an added bonus. Don't forget, we can only go down to 200 meters at the moment. And we're going to need a crew. Why don't you see if anyone here is looking for a job? You know what? Uh, let's, let's ask her. Is she looking for a job? Do you want a job? I don't think she wants a job. Okay then. How about you? Uh, I don't want you. I, you don't obviously want a job. Okay. <laughs> eh. That's so weird. Okay, so I guess it has to be one of these two. You! With the weird eyeliner. We'll take you. Jack! All right, we'll keep you fed. Oh, wait, you don't have very much anything. I, I guess I have to add you to my crew. Can I add you too, big man? And treasure this, treasure that. In my day, we had dreams beat out of us. We were, man, that's not a very good existence. All right, you've just hired a sailor. Sailors will repair your ship over time and can man any of the active stations on your ship. Bonus. Okay, now how do I get out of here? Uh, eggs, press B. Okay. Okay, there we go. Press C, toggles your compass. And we need to head west. Oh, crud, there's mines. Oh, no. <laughs> How do I shoot? Can you shoot? I don't know how to shoot. Come on. Ouch! Ah! Oh. oh, that hurt. Build up one air tank. Yes, I know. Okay. That really hurt, actually. Did we lose everything because of this? Okay, well, let's take what's in this barrel before we go and open a door. You're heard shouting on the other side of the door. Inside, there's a deranged sailor moving erratically and shelves full of loot. Jack offers to try and calm down the sailor. Continue? Yes, let's try it. 
Your crew member Jack has passed away into the... Jack has died? No! I... What? I just had Jack. Oh, rip, Jack. I was gonna get you to repair my sub, dude. No, that sucks. What is this now? All right, we'll take a look. See what a bounty hunter's jail is all about. Sounds pretty cool, actually. Not gonna lie. And I think after this, I'm gonna have to wrap it up, though, because I believe we are getting really far into our <laughs> recording here. Okay. Filled air tank. All air tanks. Okay. There we go. Hey, there's a person here. Cat Smith, what are you in for? There's been just a teensy mix-up. What do you know? They shoved me in this cage because you helped get me out of here. No talking to the prisoner. Look, you gotta help me. They got me in here on false charges. Now they want to execute me. Damn, woman is trouble. What? Oh, you did not just say that. I am absolutely gonna show you what I'm made of. When you hire me as your gunner, I've been blowing stuff up since I was three years old. I mean it, no talking. <coughs> oh, look. What do you know? I picked the lock while you distract the guard. Thanks for the cover, Captain. Hey, she's escaping. What are you waiting for? Run. She's getting away. Stop them. What? I hired a gunner by accident? Oh, God. Please tell me. Ow! I have, like, nothing. Okay, how do I shoot? Oh, that's how you shoot. I can clip him. Ow, I got no health left. This is not a good way to do business here. Ow! Not to mention, you can't really do anything when you got... Did I win? Okay, cat, I really need you to, like... Okay, apparently I can't repair. Like, at all. This is not good. Why did I do that? Okay, well, um... I'm, like, doomed here if I don't repair. There's the gate, we must be close. Okay, well, we're just gonna book it and ignore everything else right now. Oh, come on! How am I supposed to get through that? Damn, ice quakes. Yeah, I get it, I got nothing. Alright, I don't know, do I talk to you, dude? Alright, you got something to say. What do we do now? That was the only passage into Tonstiford. Unless we dive down, we might be able to get through the damaged part of the gate. Awfully close to our crush depth, though. Keep an eye on that depth meter. Oh, great. I got zero health, and <laughs> I gotta go to crush depth. This sounds smart. Not... <laughs> Yeah, this looks dumb. Okay. Oh, man. I gotta get to the town. Like, we don't have a choice. One seventy one, one seventy five. I'm at like I have zero HPs. 175 and I decide to go extra fast 180 head slow oh god I'm nervous right now and there's mines thank you for that game 
because this wasn't sketchy enough as is. What's this? Please, like, have a crew member on there. Art of Doc. Let's do it. Oh, it's gonna be a long episode, everyone. I'm s I apologize, but I gotta get us to a town, and I don't know what the heck I'm doing here. Okay, any more loot, like, non-dangerous loot? Take you to... <laughs> Yeah, I think that's it for non-dangerous loot here, so... Away we go! Don't go up into the ice field. That seems like a very bad idea. Can I shoot a mine? I can! Aha! Well, that just makes me feel a little better. Although this is really horribly inaccurate here. Let's try aim. Really? I aim down and then you go like 10 feet down. There we go. Okay, come on. Come on, come on. Crush depth. I know I'm at crush depth. I'm so nervous here, like, yeah, I don't think you guys have any idea. I am so scared, and I don't get scared in video games very often anymore. Like, I am legit worried we won't make it. There we go, two for the price of two. All right, there. Okay, come on. Don't tell me, I gotta go lower. Okay, I'm going to end this video here. Um, yeah, so that's the game, everyone. I hope you enjoyed it. I know I did. And um, don't, don't lose your crew members right off the hop. That's a very bad idea. So uh, if you enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up. You guys know what to do. This has been Not About Gaming. I will catch you guys on the next episode because I am going to do this one probably every week until we complete it. Because this game just looks so damn beautiful to me. Alright, until the next time, bye bye